Are you ready to nail party? Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails, and today I'm so excited to demonstrate for you a full set using Sculpt, an acrylic gel hybrid. Now let's get started. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands with Sanitize, 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 available in Peach and Gardenia. Remove the polish with Conditioning Polish Remover, available in Peach and Gardenia. Etch the nails with the 100 grit purple terminator etcher stick. Go with the way the nails grow. Put little scratches in the nail and you're going to do this on to all 10 nails. Etching the nails properly eliminates 75% of lifting problems. Make sure you don't have any shiny spots. Push back the cuticle with your trigium stone. Make sure there's no skin grown up on the nail. If there's any skin on the nail, then your product cannot adhere. And you do this on all 10. Dust off the nails with your plastic manicure brush from cuticle to free edge. Apply non-lifting nail primer to the entire nail. Be very careful not to touch the skin. You would do this to all 10 nails. I will be using the custom original double thick gold nail form. Place the curve under the free edge, stick it down, stick together your wings, secure your form. Put the curve in your form, place the curve under the free edge, stick down your form, stick down your wings, secure your form. Put your curve, place the curve underneath the nail, stick it down, stick together your wings, and you would do this on all 10 nails. When the primer is dry, I'm going to apply Stuck On You Bonder Gel Base. This makes your sculpt adhere to your natural nail. Cover the entire nail. You'll do this on all five nails. Then you'll cure the whole hand. And then you'll do the same on the other hand. Cure 45 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. Pour just a few drops of the Shape It Up nail liquid into a small dappen dish because you're only going to need enough to moisten your brush. I will be using Soft Pink Sculpt. 
I will be going to a number four on the nail form. So when I measure my sculpt, I squeeze out enough. to do the entire nail. So I look from one to four here and I make it about that long. Then I take the edge of my brush and I scoop it out. I place the rounded edge towards the cuticle and roll it off my brush. And I dip my brush into my liquid and I get it moist but not wet. My first step, I start patting at the cuticle area. And I get the cuticle area just how I like it. Don't move on until the cuticle is perfect. Get it nice and smooth. Then pat from nail groove to nail groove. Nail groove to nail groove. Create your nail bed, create your arch. And then once you get out to the free edge, then you can start pulling it out a little bit and patting. Pulling it out and patting. Bring in your side. Bring in your side. I'm going to make this into an almond. So you just shape it how you want it. What's so wonderful about this is you cure it when you're finished making the shape that you want. You don't have to worry about it drying. So you have all the time you need. Oh, she might go to a five here. We have a Nice long nail there. Okay. Now I'm going to do a quick cure to set my C-curve. I place the nail into the light, an LED for 10 to 15 seconds or a UV 20 to 30 seconds, and then I squeeze the C-curve. Squeeze the C-curve, starting at the nail bed, working your way out towards the free edge. Okay, now do the next nail. Again, measure how long you want your bead, depending on how long the nail is. And you scoop it. Place it onto the nail bed with the round edge facing the cuticle area. Moisten your brush. You don't want it too wet. Moisten your brush. And then start patting your cuticle area. This is the most important step here. Don't move on until you get your cuticle perfect. Make sure you have a nice little road around the cuticle area. Pat it into shape. I'm holding my brush like a pencil so I don't flatten it. I don't want this nail to go flat. I want an arch. So I'm going to pat from nail groove to nail groove. From side to side. And once I get a nice arch on the nail, I'm going out onto the free edge. Then I can pull it and pat, bring in my side, bring in my side. Getting a nice shape to that nail. Okay, quick cure. 10 to 15 seconds in an LED or 20 to 30 seconds in a UV. Squeeze your C-curve. Starting at the nail bed. Work your way out. Again, 
Get the right size bead. Scoop it. Place the rounded edge at the cuticle area. Moisten your brush. My brush is really firm, so that way I can just push it into shape. But it's also long enough and soft enough that I can stroke really, really easy. So get your cuticle area first. So important, don't do anything until that cuticle area is just how you like it. Then pat from side to side. Get your nail grooves. Side to side. Then you can start pulling it out. Patting it out. Get it just how you like it. There we go. Okay. Whoop. A little bit more over on this side. That's what's so nice, is it doesn't dry until you cure it. So if you need to go back and fix something, very easy. There we go. I think we got the shape going on now, how we like it. We can backstroke it a little bit. There we go. Okay. Again, we're going to do a quick cure and do our C-curve. Squeeze the C-curve, starting at the nail bed, and work your way out. Squeeze your bead. Squeeze out your bead long enough for your whole nail. And scoop it. Place the round edge close to the cuticle. Moisten your brush. This makes it easy to control your product, but you don't want it wet. You just want it moist. That way your brush doesn't stick to your product. Get your cuticle area just how you like it. Pat from side to side, from side to side. Make sure you get those nail grooves. Completely cover that nail. Build up your arch. Again, patting side to side onto your free edge. So step one's the cuticle. Step two is the nail bed. Step three is the free edge. Then you can start drawing it out, shaping your nail. So easy and so much fun. I just love this. You can do long nails, short nails, oval nails, almond nails, coffin nails, square nails. Anything you can imagine you can do with Sculpt. little long there. Get a nice arch on that now. Now we're going to do a quick cure to do our C curve. 
10 to 15 seconds in an LED, 20 to 30 seconds in a UV. Squeeze the C-curve. Start at the nail bed. Work your way out. There we go. Make sure it's cured. There we go. Again, measuring with your lines. This little tool helps really handy. Okay. And scoop it. Place the rounded edge towards the cuticle. Roll it off the tip of your brush. You can do short nails. You can do overlays. You can go over tips. There's really not anything you can't do with, with Sculpt. It's more like acrylic. Even though it's like acrylic and gel, but it's a lot like acrylic. But you just don't have to worry about doing a liquid powder ratio. So you're going to pat it. Get a nice smooth cuticle area. From side to side. Build up the arch. Go all the way from side to side. Once you've, you're out here on this free edge, you can start pulling it. Push a little bit over there. You get a little bit thin. Start pulling it out. Shaping it. If you noticed, I don't go back in and re-wet my brush. I try not to use very much liquid at all. If you have to go back in and wet your brush, make sure you dry it off really good or just like drain it off really good so it's not real wet. Bring it out. Even up your tip here. Make sure we're long enough. Draw it out. Shape it. Shape it. There we go. Get it just how you like it. Now I'm going to do a quick cure so I can do my C curve. Squeeze the C-curve, starting at the nail bed, and work your way out. Now I'm going to do a full cure. One minute in an LED, two minutes in a UV. Remove the forms, and then put the nails back in for a full cure. Clean off the nails with Clean It and a Wipe It on the top surface and underneath. I will be filing the nails with my long lasting 180 Zebra. First I'm going to score the edges so it's gentle around the cuticle. I can just throw away my disposable etcher. I will be filing in five steps. My first step is straight out from the nail groove on the left. I would do this on all ten nails. File the nail straight out from the nail groove on the left. Do this on all ten nails. The third step in filing is the free edge, and I will be creating an almond, so I hold my file almost all the way flat. And I do this on all ten nails. Step 
step number four is the top of the nail. Bevel down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Make sure you get a nice smooth cuticle area. There should be a little road here where the sculpt and natural nail and then cuticle. You should be able to feel the natural nail. Set your file in that little road. Go around the road. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. And you do this on all 10 nails. Nice long strokes. Now I'm going to do the fifth step in filing. This is the client's angle. This is the angle that she's going to be looking at for the next two weeks. And you want to make sure this angle looks great. It's a downward bevel. Nice long strokes. You're looking at the top and the tip of the nail, making sure that's nice and even. And the sculpt is really easy to file. I'm only using a 180 grit zebra. But it's also really, really hard. It's hard like acrylic, but easy to file. The thumb's always a little awkward. There we go. Okay. And I do this on all 10 nails. Now I'm going to buff the nails with the clean finish buffing file. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Make sure you get around that cuticle area, get it nice and smooth. A nice long stroke towards the tip. Give it its finishing shape here. And do this on all 10 nails. Have your client go wash their hands with antibacterial soft soak and a plastic manicure brush. At this point, you can apply nail lacquer, gel polish, or top gel plus. And I will be applying top gel plus. Nice long strokes, cover the entire nail. Cap the tip. Super shiny high gloss top gel. Nice long strokes. And when you're applying top gel, make sure that you don't press too hard. Just let it glide on. Cap the tip. Cure 45 seconds in an LED, 30 seconds in a Mighty Mini LED, or 2 minutes in a UV. Clean the nails with Clean It and a Wipe It. Apply conditioning cuticle oil. This is available in peach and gardenia. Now you have soft pink sculpt sculptured nails with nail forms. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.